Hi, this is Sweet June. I'm coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like, and the share. I want to bring attention to, I said in my other video where I was talking about the our black and missing that I didn't get a lot of views on. Um, I'm going to put that uh, link to that video in the description box. Um... And I said uh, that I was going to draw more attention to, like, whenever I hear of a case, I was going to come on here and um, help spread the word and help put it out if I hear of a case of a black um, person that's missing or whatever the situation is. Not sure if you guys, let me know in the comment section if you guys heard of this case, uh, Jel Jelani day um he was found he was a, a a young aspiring doctor he was found um drowned in a river um he was missing for 11 days i'm gonna go ahead and read it because i can show you better than i can tell you i'm here on um the npr npr site um uh, whatever the site is i'm on here on the site um I'm going to go ahead and read it to you because I can show you better than I can tell you um, what it what this is saying. Let me zoom in in right quick. Uh, LaSalle County, Illinois coroner has released the cause of death for Jelani Day. Jelani Day, the Illinois State University graduate student who was found dead in the Illinois River last month, 11 days after he went missing. <clears throat> Day's cause of death was officially ruled as drowning, said the LaSalle County Coroner Richard Plotch in a statement to NPR. However, Plotch says how Day ended up in the Illinois River is unknown. There was no evidence of anti-mortem injuries such as a manual strangling, strangulation, assault, or altercation, sharp blood, or gunshot injury. Infection, tumor, natural disease, congenital abnormality, or significant drug intox intoxication, he said. Plotch asked that the forensic exam of Day's remains was septimidal due to the degree of the de 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 decomposition of the activity of the river predators while his body was in the warm water. Um, that's so sad. Day's mother rejects the report. Day's mother can't... Cameron Bolden Day called the report an insult to her and her son. Jelani was an avid swimmer, um, and an avid swimmer does not doesn't drown himself. They said Jelani didn't have depression or mental issues. Uh, Jelani, I'm keep mispronounce. Excuse me, I keep mispronouncing his name. Those are indicative of someone that has suicidal thoughts. That's not what my son had. Cameron Bolden Day took part in a march on Tuesday in, in a town where her son's car was found, Peru, Illinois, to pressure authorities to keep the investigation going. Uh, Jelani Day's car was found and then his remains. The 25-year-old graduate student who had been living in Bloomington where he aspired to be a doctor, his car was found in Peru, a small city in our city in an hour of north of Bloomington two days after he was last seen. Police say they went missing with unexplained suspicious circumstances. Day's white, Day's white Chrysler 300 was spotted in a wooded area south of Illinois Valley. Uh, the Illinois Valley YMCA. Um, according to Bloomington police, inside the car were the clothes he had been wearing when he was last seen. Um... But nine days after Day's car was found, police discovered his body in the Illinois River following a search that was triggered by a tip. Question remains as to what happened to Day before his body was found. It's, it's a suspicious, unusual circumstance while he was missing and then the car's location. Also, you know, pretty suspicious or unusual. I've seen, I've been a police reporter officer for 10 years. Bloomington Police Information Officer John Foreman told the, um, so that's basically, um, 
Day, news of Day's gay case gained national attention as his mother urged authorities to pursue her, her son's case as it did for Gappy Patel. So, his this young man's case did not get um, his mother is upset because his case, this young man's case did not get the attention that the Gabby Patillo case got. You know, we all know about the Gabby Patillo case because it was on every major news outlet. Um, they were search, in search of her and her boyfriend and they found her remains and then later looked for him and found his remains. Um, I did, I do remember briefly hearing about um, this case um, but it didn't hit the nationwide news like the Gabby Patillo case. Uh, I just seen his mother on the Tamron Hall show. She was just on there the other day and she was talking about how it didn't make, uh, her son's case didn't hit the, um, they didn't pursue the case like they did. This, this, everything, this is very suspicious to me. Um, the coroner said that there was no they no um strangulation or any suggestion that it was that he it was ruled as an accident um how does he how does he accidentally just jump in a river and she said that he could that he was a swimmer how does he accidentally just jump in a river and drown so i i i just think that this this is this is very suspicious i think um, I have to agree with his mother that it's more to this case than what it's, it's more to it. And I do believe that they should look deeper into it. And this is what she's pleading. His mother is pleading that to the authorities to dig deeper into the case because she said that her son, her son was a swimmer. And how's he going to come up? How's he going to turn up drowned? They found no, no drugs or anything in his body. According to him, no, no, uh, strangulation or, um, no natural disease, congenital, congenital abnormality or significant drug intoxication. Okay. So they found no drugs in his system. They found no alcohol in his system. So he wasn't under the influence of anything. Um, so how, why would he just jump in a river? and decided i mean it, it's suspicious he, he was an expiring doctor so she just want the authorities she just want the same attention that they gave on the gabby patillo case um to be on her son you know be wanting wanting them to look more into what happened to her son this breaks my heart i mean this young man was a a promising, um, he could have contributed. You know, we don't have a lot of doc, black doctors in the in the black community, and and he really, really, really had a lot he could have contributed to um, the medical community. It's just really, really sad. I, it just breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart. So um, yeah, I was just watching his mother on the Tamron Hall show, and she was saying she was. My heart and prayers just go out to her and his family, and I know she's brokenhearted. And um, she says she just doesn't believe. She doesn't believe it. She doesn't. She thinks it's some foul play involved, and she wants them to um, look more into it. And she just feels like he didn't. His case didn't get the because um, he was missing for eleven days. Um, I don't recall hearing it on nationwide news. Um, and so she, she's upset because it didn't get the, the national attention that the Gabby Patillo case got. And she was begging them to center more attention on this case. So I, I pray that she can find some closure and some justice. Um, this just breaks my heart. Um, it just breaks my heart um, about this case. Let me know in the comment section if you guys heard about this case and what are your thoughts on it. Um, I just this really breaks my heart. I really wanted to 
come on here and put this out here. Um, I wanted to bring it to kind of put it, spread the word, put it out there. Um, um, what do you, what do you, what are you guys' thoughts on this? This is really sad. This breaks my heart. Heart and prayers go out to the family, and I hope that his mother can get some justice and get some closure. Um, so sad. Illinois State University graduate. So he really, 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 he was going to be, he was an inspiring, aspiring doctor. So he really, really would have contributed to a lot to the medical community. This is really sad. This is heartbreaking. So, uh, go, go ahead, <laughs> excuse me, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, and um, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.